Daniels, have you ever seen a game on any level where the team turns it over 27, 28 times, still wins by 20? Uh, I mean, I can't recall. I mean, but it's basketball. It happens. What was the reason for the turnovers on your guys' side? I just think we, you know, developing chemistry, man. It's it's not easy to come out and just play, you know, and it be as fluent as, you know, things have been accustomed, you know, to. So I think just the more we play together, the more we figure each other out, I think that'll, you know, ease up on the, you know, the turnover. Do you think getting so many people back from injury and then losing guys here and there, did you, it's kind of like a start and restart kind of situation when it comes to building chemistry? Yeah, for sure. I mean, these guys have to play. Guys got to be in the lineup. Coach's job to keep mixing it up, figuring out what works. Um, like I said, you know, it's got a lot of new guys, a lot of guys that are, you know, trying to get their rhythm back at that. So it's not going to be easy. What's it like having uh, Damien out there as a starter? Man, he plays that energy, man. He's he brings a lot to the table. You know, he can shoot, he can score the ball, he can defend, he rebounds well. He brings that energy. Um, you know, you know, teams need players like that. It seems like despite all the losses, from at least from what we see, the culture has remained intact. Everybody seems like they're still trying as hard. Everybody's getting along. Why do you think that's maintained the way it has despite the, the setbacks? I mean, I give credit to the vets in the, in the locker room, you know, coaches in the locker room. You know, you're so accustomed to winning. Things don't change when you lose, you know. You still got to keep that same, you know, that, that same energy, you know, on and off the court. And I think that's what keeps guys sane. You know, so I give a lot of credit to those guys. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.